Now, there seems to be a rift between the Likud and the far-right Atzma Yehudit party in Israel. According to reports, the National Security Minister, Itamar ben Giver is making various demands for the ruling party to resume cooperation within the coalition. The minister is demanding a significant military operation against terror in the West Bank. The approval of parts of the government's currently frozen judicial reforms and his active involvement in discussions on matters pertaining to security. Ben Gevers said that he was boycotting the weekly cabinet meeting as Israel returned the bodies of several Palestinian men who were killed during the attempted attacks and exchanges of fire with the troops. In a statement, Ben Gevers said, and I am quoting here, the policy must change. The government must switch to a completely right-wing policy. We received a mandate from the public to change the direction and that must happen. Reports further suggest that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sent various envoys to the minister in recent days in a bid to settle their differences. However, Ben Giver has clearly said that he wants actions and not words. According to reports, Netanyahu has not agreed to any of the minister's demands. Critics say that Netanyahu has largely sidelined Ben Giver since he entered the post, keeping him away from the major decision-making forums. In what is widely seen as a sign of his distrust of the far-right firebrand, meanwhile, the opinion polls continue to show a significant drop in the support for the ruling coalition with multiple surveys indicating that if national elections were held today, then Likud would not be able to form a government with its far-right and ultra-Orthodox partners. According to the latest polls on Channel 12 and Channel 13, the coalition's Knesset seats would amount to 52, down from its current 64. Rather, on the other hand, the opposition bloc parties would garner 63 seats for a slim majority. The survey further indicated that Gantz was more suitable to be the Prime Minister. 41% of respondents to the Channel 12 poll chose Gantz, while 31% preferred the current Prime Minister, and 26% voted for the opposition leader, Yair Lapid. Now, for more details on this, we are being joined by our correspondent Jody Cohen, live from Ranana. Hello to you, Jody. Now, Itamar Ben Giver, the head of the ultra nationalist Otsma Yehudit party, doesn't appear to be happy at all with the way the government is progressing. What more can you tell us about the apparent rift within the coalition? Hi, Alison. So Ben Gavir's Otmo Hadid party boycotted voting in Parliament on Wednesday in protest at what it sees as Israel's soft response to the 104 rockets fired from Gaza into Israel on Tuesday. Now, remember, in response, Israel struck 16 Hamas targets. And on Sunday, Ben Gavir boycotted the cabinet meeting in protest at Israel returning the bodies of Palestinian gunmen. Now, local media are reporting that Ben Gavir is calling for a clampdown on terror in the West Bank to be part of security deliberations and for tougher conditions for Palestinian prisoners who are said to have better conditions than Israeli prisoners. And he's also reportedly calling for unfreezing of parts of the judicial reform proposals. It's not actually just Otmo Yehudit that are expressing dissatisfaction with the way the government is going. The United Torah Judaism head Yitzhak Goldnoff has said that without their proposed bill to enable ultra-Orthodox men to be exempted from military service, he's warned that the government could in fact fall apart. Right. Jody, is the coalition expected to break up, could we be looking at another election taking place in Israel? So Goldnoff has suggested that an alternate coalition could be formed, but provided no further details as yet. 
it's not thought likely that any coalition party would actually leave this government. And that's because, as you indicated, you know, we've had 18 weeks of protests against the government's proposed judicial reform proposals. And the latest polls show that the coalition seats would fall significantly, losing their majority, while the opposition parties would be able to get a majority with 63 seats. Now, Netanyahu's party would also be overtaken, if the polls are correct, as the largest party by the National Unity Party, which is led by former Defence Minister and IDF, Benny, IDF chief Benny Gantz. Now, he's been seen really as a unifying figure throughout these weeks of protest. He opposes the government's judicial reform proposals, but he has acknowledged the need for some sort of reform and is seen as being more open to a compromise than others in the opposition. Now, in the meantime, Netanyahu's priority is expected actually to be over the next few weeks in passing a state budget. That has to happen by the 29th of May or the country would go to elections. And that could be why we're seeing these dissented voices within the coalition as part of a negotiation to get that state budget passed. Right. Jody, thank you very much for bringing us all the latest details coming out of Israel. Thanks, Alison.